Zone Ads, World of Local Business Info. It's been a while since I've uh, been the last batsman on the team. I always either open the innings for Karnataka or I batted at number four or five for India. Mr. Jayesh uh, Rajan, IS Principal, Secretary of Industries and Commerce. Mr. Anand, IPS Commissioner of Police. Our author of Bobby's book, Corner Sharkey, and one of India's greatest batsmen, Vivius Lakshman, and my good friend, Nasim Rao, who I fondly, fondly call Bob G. It's a great pleasure for me to be here this, this evening. It's not only for Bobby's book, but I've met so, so many cricketers. So many who I played with 40 years ago. I have, I think, uh, the oldest cricket I've played with probably is uh, um, Nashir Mehta, right? Anybody older than that? No, okay, no Nashir. Then after that was uh, my good friend, wicketkeeper, batsman, Fires Beg, and Arshad Ayub. We played a lot of cricket. Uh, at uh, the Himwadi Kari camp in 74-75, we were part of the uh, teams, and there were so many, so many cricketers uh, when I played for, uh, against Hyderabad, who are here today. When I played against Andhra, a year. That's the beauty of these uh, these functions. You get to meet all your old friends who you played so so many years ago. Also. I played in 19, 1974 with uh, my good friend and teammate Shivilal Yadev. We played the uh, South Zone schools in the Gymkhana grounds. Shiv, you remember that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's a it's a lovely moment to be here and be amongst you all and all you cricketers and uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here. Hyderabad has always been a city which we all came to, all the cricketers, in fact, all the international cricketers came here for the pre-season before the test matches started. Because we, we, in those days, cricket uh, finished up in April. April was the last knockout game you played for your state, and then we had an off-season from April to September. So we had to get back into the groove of things, and Hyderabad was the one place where we played the Monodola, and we uh, came every year to do that. And that's how we got back into the game, got back our fitness and our cricketing uh, and skills back into the game, along with the tournaments in Chennai. But the main one, I think, was Hyderabad. And I came here for probably more than 10 years doing that. Well, uh, today I'm here for my good friend, who I call uh, Bob G. I always called him Bob G. And he's... Uh, I'm sure he's, uh, he's been one of your great cricketing sons because when I uh, came onto the cricket scene in probably 1975, Bobby was already an established uh, batsman with the Hyderabad cricket team. He was uh, one of the frontline players amongst your stalwarts like Abbas Ali Beg. Then you had uh, ML Jeshima, you had Nawab Pataudi, and you had Abid Ali, all test cricketers, and he was one amongst them who was a, a brilliant uh, batsman, a brilliant all-rounder, really, because he, he was able to uh, bowl his quick, quickest leg spins. Sometimes he embarrassed us because he bowled faster than us on slow pitches. <laughs> so that, was, that was Bob G. And um, he was, uh, he was a, a great, great team man. Because when I played with him uh, in the South Zone in the Dilip Trophy, and then later on we played... Uh, for India against the, uh, when I was in the reserves in, and Bobby played against uh, Australia in, I think in Calcutta, was it right? Yeah. Calcutta, yeah. And uh, going back to Calcutta, I would, uh, I'd like to bring, bring out something of his, uh, the pranks and uh, what he played on, on his team members. So while, while we in this test match in Calcutta, we were staying at the Obroi Grand and um, all of us, with three, four of us, get back to our rooms in the night, all ready to go to bed. And then we enter our rooms, 
And on the bed used to be flower pots. Let this lay all right across our bed. And we couldn't get into our, into our bed to sleep. So we, went, we had to call the, uh, the porter and, and speak to him. And nobody, nobody uh, knew who it was. Until one, one fine evening we caught him doing it. It was Bobji putting flower pots on our beds in the night for to sleep. <laughs> so that was the prankster he was. And he would be many more pranks, which I can't tell you about, but uh, <laughs> he, he, was, he was a big prankster. He's also, he was also a big foodie. When we, uh, we played a Dilip Trophy match in uh, Baroda against uh, West Zone, and um, we were staying in uh, this hotel uh, called Express Stars. And um, I had a roommate, Sudhakar Rao. His roommate was uh, Jyoti Prasad. And uh, we, sat on, we sat on to order dinner, uh, room service from, uh, in our rooms. And um, we asked this uh, guy at the room service counter to please send us some tandoori chicken. So he says, he says, sorry, sir, the chicken is over. So we said, it's only 9 o'clock in the night. We said, yes, sir, the room next to you, those boys uh, ate the chicken up. <laughs> so, so we went to find out who it was. And there was plates, plates all piled up on the, on the bed. There was Narasimha Rao and Jyoti Prasad. He ate, he ate up all the chicken at, at the hotel. <laughs> that, that was Bobji for you. He was not. He was a prankster, a good foodie, and a good, good, good man. A very good friend of mine. We uh, we enjoyed our uh, stay, stints with the uh, Indian team because he was good fun uh, on the field because he he enjoyed the game very much. Like you. He enjoyed the way he, you, this is just the way he played the game, and he also was uh, very popular off the field. Like, say, say someone just said, or maybe Connor written it in his book, he was more like a rock star. You know, I think in his previous life he must have been a rock star with the way he dressed and the way he he wore his hairstyle and uh, and the way he played the game. So, to me, to me, um, Bobby's been a great friend. I've uh, I also met his family. Josephine and the children, and uh, I would like to wish Bobby well. He's done well, for not only in, in, at home in his home country, but he's gone outside. He's able to motivate and develop uh, the game outside, and it's been a fantastic journey for him. I would like to wish him all the very best, and uh, good luck to you, Bobby. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon, and select all.